everybody. We'll take questions from Coach Brandon Schneider. Coach, you know, overall, what does this run mean for you and this program as a whole for this year and the continuing years uh, to come? Um, you know, we won nine out of our last ten games. Uh, I think it creates uh, a lot of momentum for the program uh, going into next year. Um, we are hopeful that we'll have a, much of this team back. Yeah. Um, I think um, ultimately, though, uh, I couldn't be happier with what it did to increase interest and in fan support in our program. Um, I think that uh, I'm hopeful that the many that came for the first time um, enjoyed it, uh, felt like they were represented uh, in the right way, and um, you know they'll they'll plan on buying season tickets. You had the nets around your neck, coach, and just kind of were smiling and everything. What did it mean to kind of coach this group and, and be along this journey and have six straight home games in this tournament? You know, I, I like being around people um, who are of strong character. And I think that they demonstrated that. Um, you know, when you face disappointment um, like we did on Selection Sunday, um, sometimes, uh, even those with the most experience have a hard time uh, bouncing back. Uh, but, but for young women, uh, our group of young women, to do what they did and um, with the character and the intensity and the competitive drive, um, it, it, I think as a staff, just makes us really proud uh, to be able to be a part of their lives. Is there extra satisfaction to, to win it against a team like that that maybe was the toughest test of this tournament for you guys? That was a battle. <laughs> They're damn good. <laughs> um, you know, and, and uh, extremely well coached. Um, I think they were an NCAA tournament team. I think we probably were too. And, um, you know, they're, they average 79 points a game. I think they're 13th in the country in offensive production. So. Uh, I know that maybe for the fans it wasn't the most aesthetically pleasing game in terms of everybody making a bunch of shots, but I think it was um, a group of winning competing really, really hard. I want to ask you about Twin, too. Uh, big year for her. I mean, everything she accomplished, historically speaking, as well. Do you feel like this year she showed more of her personality to the, to the crowd, to the world, to the outside? than maybe she did last year, especially today, right? She comes back from the locker room after yeah. being injured and there's this whole back and forth between her and the fans in a title game. You know, um, Matt, some of, some, some of us grow up in um, pretty privileged circumstances and, and some of us don't. And, um, you know, for her, it's about trust. And she trusts us. Uh, and it, but a kid like that's gonna make you earn it uh, because you know you, some environments you kind of always have your head on a swivel and um, that's how you should probably behave um, but I think you know she became somebody that uh, loves this place and, and trust the people around her trust her teammates and um, has been able to just express herself and, and allow people to get to know her. She's an unbelievable um, young woman. And I think, you know, I didn't know if she was going to come back or not. I mean, it, it appeared that she's a really tough individual. And, and um, for her to come back and play, I think, says a lot about how much she loves her teammates. You touched on this earlier. You said, you know, and I mentioned it, most of these guys have come back. Um, and you look at, obviously this is early view, very early, but you look at what next year can hold. How do you kind of build upon that and you know, just continue to get to where you guys want to get to? You know, it, it's um, just kind of getting to the off season. Uh, obviously we have the rules dictate we take some time off and the players need some time mm -hmm. off. And um, you know, when you're playing April 1st, you're not gonna have much of a postseason. So uh, when we get back together in June, um, and get our entire team here, then um, 
you know, once it's assembled, then we'll figure out, you know, how we're going to play. Do you expect Tayana, Ollie, and Zakai to all be a part of that? I do. Um, I'm not making statements for them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, hopeful and, and basing that on conversations that we've had previously. With regard to what that this all can mean for, for your future and especially next year's team, I know the interest in, in building the fan support and all that was important about this run, but but did you guys ever talk much about we could all be back together, so let's let's use this as a basketball leaping? Uh, we, we did mm -hmm. early. Okay. Um, you know, before the tournament was ever started, uh, we used uh, Arizona as an example. Um, Arizona, I believe, won the tournament a few years ago, and then the next year, and I'm obviously not making any predictions, but the next year they played for the national championship. Uh, so, you know, what they did um, to use the tournament as a springboard and momentum into the next year, I think is a pretty good example. Thanks, Coach. Was there a point that you looked back um, to your time at Emporia State winning the Division II title? Um, maybe some of the same pep talks or motivation um, or any of those tactics that you might have You know, the, the hard thing is, is when I've been a head coach 25 years, it's hard not to use some of the same material. Um, but I, I can say no. I mean, I, I was focused on this group, and um, I think as a coach, um, you know, we've had some players who've cut down a net before, and we've obviously have some that haven't. So the the, the coolest thing for me is um, seeing players who've never experienced that do it for the first time, and and the memories that you know we always say there's memories that can never be recreated, and um, today's one of them. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Brandon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.